So some big news broke yesterday afternoon. Bruno Large is no longer the Wolves head coach. He was sacked uh, after the, the defeat to West Ham United. Um, it's not, you know, Matt, it's been the writing. It has been on the wall, get the words out. Uh, we've been in Belgium, so haven't been able to do much coverage on it as of yet. But yeah, it's been coming, hasn't it? Yeah, and, and I think I've never seen so many Wolves fans all in agree, agreement over, over the decision and also before the decision, I've never seen it turn like that. Even with Nuno, who you know had a bit, well, a lot more credit in the bank than Bruno did. Even towards the end of his tenure, it was still probably spit 60-40 in favour in going. But I don't think I've seen one person saying it's it's the wrong call to do. Apart from those who have now their colours to the mast and can't show show any face. So. I think I think even those people have sort of are sort of in agreement. Um, we spoke a little bit on on our pad, podcast last week, and as you know. And as many people know, that I'd sort of stuck with him and sort of trusted him, wanting to give him more time. Um, but even the people, I think, similar to me in that camp after Saturday sort of knew it was probably the right time for him yeah, to go. We, we said, didn't we, on, on Saturday before the game, if, if you know, rumours of Neves playing centre-half, back five. If, if he plays Neves as a centre-half and he loses the game, he has to go. Because those decisions, it's just, it screams a bloke who's um, desperate desperate need of just well just desperation um, yeah. and it's you know yeah it's it, it it's 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 the right decision it's just the next one's a a, a a big call but they've done it they've done it at the right time i think if they've gone into the world cup and still haven't had him as your boss then you're going to be in some serious serious trouble yeah well i my, my hope uh well I, I sort of had hope for him because i thought you know what I've, he had a little bit of credit at the start of last season, did quite well. Mm. I think he had a really favourable run of fixtures, though, which got us in that position. Um, obviously, it all fell apart towards the end of the campaign. But Foson fully backed him, and it's not with dreadful players, with top, top players. Yeah. Um, he's been a little bit unlucky, I think, with the forward sort of thing. He's come and, and sort of inherited now of form uh, post injury. Raul Jimenez, obviously, Fabio Silva probably isn't quite ready yet. Uh, Kalajic comes in and gets in just straight away and he's only sort of had half an hour with Diego Costa so I feel for him on that part but as a manager with the rest of the squad and with the rest of the attacking talent Wolves have got he should still be getting results there and what is it two wins in 15, 15, 15, 14, 15. yeah, yeah. Um, that, that isn't good enough so he's the, obviously the, the right decision yeah. from from now Matt who's out there I mean there's no as of right now there's no clear favourites for the managerial job but who's out there that you think you'd be happy to see at Molyneux I think the one that we'd all want is Amarim at Sporting um, but I think that's extremely unlikely it's Champions League at, at Sporting plus he's got quite a hefty release clause I know they paid 10 million euros to Braga um, to, to, to make him the manager plus um, over, over in other instalments, so I think his release clause is around twenty five million euro, isn't it? So I can't see I can't see the club triggering that, but I also can't see him wanting to leave halfway through the season. Postecoglou glue came up yesterday. I thought that'd be a great appointment, but it's very similar to Amarim. I don't think he's going to want to leave Celtic. So in a great position for Celtic in the middle. Yeah, who who else have we spoken about? Well, Lopetegui, this Lopetegui is one. Yeah, but he's still, he's, uh, currently as it stands, he's still got a job, but that may change over the next few days. He, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if Sevilla try and keep him for a little while just to hold out. If there's genuine interest, so they can get a bit of compensation for him. My teams, I'm not. Pedro Martins isn't one that fills me with excitement, but it's, it's going to be it's going to be probably a Portuguese coach, isn't it, or someone linked linked with Mendes, which is which, which is frustrating. It's frustrating if we get someone who's again a very much like a bit of a, a Bruno Large, like an unknown yes, quantity. Man, yeah, man. yeah. Um, you know, if you could go and get someone like Almerim, then you know this is where the Mendes carousel you reap your reward. But you can also get a little bit stung by it, so it's a it, it's a difficult one. But there's some there's some big names in the running. There's some really big names. Even like AVB, I know he's like a, 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 a Racing driver now. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Vias Poas would be an interesting one. I think the most straightforward one, like you mentioned there, would be Pedro Martins, former Olympiacos manager, and you know, good good record over in 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 Greece and did okay in Europe. Um, that would be the most straightforward one because you know he's there. Um, but there's but, no there's no like there's no forward thinking with that though, isn't it? It's just again like shoehorning someone into a role like, and this is why it may be difficult halfway through the season. Um, you are, I'd like someone with a bit more. Um, a bit higher calibre. Am would be, and that's one for the long term, I think yeah. he's a very, you know, still a very young coach, but so, so highly rated. And I think you would get, you know, it would be worth the risk to pay that sort of money for him if you if you can get him. But, um, I mean, for this week now, we've got James Collins um, and Steve Davis, the 21s and the 18s mm. uh, managers taking over. Um, do you think Wolves need to rush and try and get this appointment sorted before the Chelsea game or as close to it as possible? Because I think... 
before the Forest game, they still need a good run of training to try and because that Forest game is a must win, really. Yeah, the Forest game is a must win. I'm not too sure it's that important to get a manager in, get the right manager in before Chelsea. If they can, great. But you know, look at look at the players we've got out. We've got we've got um, Collins out. We've got uh, Neves is out. It looks like Neto will be out. He's been poor anyway. Yeah. Nunes has picked up a knock. It's um, it, it's a free hit, and I feel a little bit sorry for sorry for the lads who are taking the team because it's a. Uh, I don't know, it feels like a bit, a bit of a thankless task at the minute, but I'm happy for them to wait a couple of weeks to get the right man rather than try and get someone in before Chelsea and, it, and it's a wrong appointment because if, if if we get someone in and you don't get that new manager bounce and it's still, you know, turgid crap football, then we are going to be in trouble. Like, there's no two ways about it, uh, but we yeah. shouldn't be, not with that squad of players. No, you would hope as are the Wolves board, if they got rid of Bruno Lage, you'd have somebody or at least an idea of the people that are lined up. I, I, yeah, I think they're always looking at and uh, Brighton said this when they got rid of Potter. Like they already know who they who they want next. They've always got the contingency plans. I think any football club worth their stripes will will have that anyway. Even with players, if you know particular players looking to leave, they'll have someone lined up. So you'd, you'd hope, you'd hope they that yeah. they've got someone lined up or at least a few targets that they know are available. So yeah. give it give it a couple of weeks, I reckon. Mm, well, that is the end of Bruno Lage's tenure at Wolves. Let us know. Your thoughts on this news in the comments section down below. Dreadful uh, run of form uh, for Large. A lot of discontent, was it, towards the end of last season? I mean, reports are coming out now, which is easy to write and, and upload reports now that things weren't uh, rosy at the end of last season as well. So um, it had been coming just, really Just quickly. on that, though, like we, we, were, we were told, and you know, not you know, throwing shade in any of the reports, but we were told last week from reputable reporters that he's got a lot of credit in the bank and his position isn't under threat. And now this week, it's everything was terrible. He was he was very too emotional. The players hated him. It's like, well, I don't know. It's, yeah. I, I, I think you take all those things with a pinch of salt. Agreed, agreed. But yeah, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys, on his uh, time at Wolverhampton Wonders and who you would like to be the next boss. As always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and we'll see you all very, very soon.